Well, not since Craig Lowndes' defection to Ford a few years ago has there been a more controversial move than Russell Ingalls to Stone Brothers Racing. He's very happy, though, and so is the team he left, which is still run by Larry Perkins, of course. But the big difference is this year, not only have they got Paul Dumbrell in beside Stephen Richards to replace Russell, but Larry is now, for the first time, purely a team owner. Happy to run the team. I'm happy to be the owner of the team and, and command it or whatever you call it. Uh, but in, in uh, six months' time, whenever Bathurst is coming up, if I'm the right bloke, keep myself fit, uh, I might hop back in. You, see, you mentioned, I think, late last year that you might do some other kind of racing too. Have you given that much more thought? Well, I, I love I'm going to keep my eye open and I, I still may um, do some other sort of thing. Uh, I've got no plan other than, uh, you know, uh, sharing my thoughts with you, if you like. And uh, I looked at that 24-hour race, and I thought that was a good thing. Uh, that, that, I thought that might be a bad thing to do. So I'm just going to keep my options open and see which way the uh, uh, dice roll and which way interest may come from. Are you busy enough? Oh, yeah, i got plenty on, I can promise you. Uh, all that happens now is I don't drive the race cars on uh, Sunday afternoon. I still do all the other things that you do, uh, you know, running the business. I still got 35 guys that seem to want paying every fortnight and uh, you know, I've still got me interest in the uh, data of uh, recorders for helicopters and stuff like that. So, oh yeah, I, uh, I wouldn't mind someone giving me another three or four weeks a year. And how tough are you on the current drivers now? I mean, especially the young bloke. I mean, I know what it's like. You only retired five minutes and suddenly uh, the young blokes have got it a lot easier than you at it. Well, I, I reckon I'm uh, going to be fine on that. Like, I, I've gone into it with no great expectations from Paul, you know, who's obviously only 21. I've uh, said many times uh, it'd be nice if he could get on top of it real quick, but it might take him a year, it might take him longer. And, um, but he did a very good job at Bathurst, and I promise you he'll get better. He won't get worse. Uh, Stephen Richards is uh, a very well-known uh, capacity to us all. He is absolutely uh, you know, right top of the tree in terms of drivers, and I'm delighted to have him on board. And uh, he fits in with the team, and we've got a good team. We really have got a good team, and uh, everyone's pulling together, and you know, we want to win races. And I think uh, I don't really wish for a better lot. Any hard feelings about the situation with Russell? I mean, on a personal level, have you moved on, or did, was there ever any need to move on? Oh, look, uh, Russell's contract ran out at the end of last year. Uh, at the start of the year, I offered him a new contract. He wanted a lot more money than I was willing to pay him, and he left. I'm, I am disappointed, I suppose, that Russell is making comments that uh, uh, keep sort of reading uh, something in that wasn't there. He had a contract, we honoured it, we gave him the best car we could get. Uh, give him and, uh, you know, I regret that wasn't uh, up to what he wanted, but uh, there wasn't too many other cars better, I might add.